That God was damn. Oh, God. Okay. So OBS froze. <laughs> OBS fucking froze. Come on, that's like the most thematic thing ever in this position, you have to admit. Oh my god. Okay, you have video. Got it. Uh. 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 Is it dead? Do you want to what hear a funny that? story? It's not human. Aurelia's back. D did I lose voices? Nope, I'm right here. Yes, I'm right here. No, I hear you. That's a lot of noise. Yeah, it's a lot of wet slurping sounds. Something big just passed overhead, I think. Where, where the fuck is the radio? Because there's a radio somewhere here, but is it outside? Mm. I think it is. Oh, yeah. All right, I picked it. I pick it up? Yeah, I picked it up. This thing broken? Jess? Jasper, you're muted. Oh yeah, I was coughing. Whoops. As opposed to wheezing. No. <laughs> what the? What the? I better take it anyway. I might need it. That's a cute little radio. Huh? Radio? I think it's... that line just so often. <laughs> just, hey, you have to do that. <laughs> Only the best real men rock. The classics were real men. Boom, boom, I'm waking up <laughs> to ash and dust. I None of that top. So hard. I got so far. None of that top forty shit. This is the real classics. It's an endless summer. Boy, I want you close to me. Ninety-eight point eight FM. Real rock men. Ninety-nine point nine. The buzz. That'll geographically locate me. By the way. <laughs> Or at least where I was during a particular time in my life. <laughs> I'm waking up to ash and dust. I wipe my ass and I slap my nuts. <sighs> oh. Oh. oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Dun-dun-dun! All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> I, I had to, you know? I had oh, to. Absolutely. Absolutely. Reminded me I wanted to get contacts and everyone I spoke to told me, do not lick your contacts. That is not how to clean them. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Now see, that's just heresy. You could absolutely lick your contacts and clean them. Oh, you can. Once. And you're not going to be needing contacts anymore if you're not lucky. <laughs> Wait a second. Is that a health drink? 
<laughs> Gordon? Gordon, we can use these medical kits to restore our health. Saliva is not a saline solution. It might not be a saline solution, but there are healing properties to saliva. Yes, but also fact. human saliva is one of the, the filthiest salivas out there because of our varied diets and also communicable diseases. Well, yes, but if it's already in your body, what's the difference putting it in your eyes? You know... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is... Yeah, that's where I just was. Hmm. Rosewater Park, huh? Let's head through Cat Street. Okay. Well, hmm. Okay, it's not really the goal. <laughs> Did you use like a water-based lubricant on your eyes for context? No, the, the glycerin in there would be Oh bad. yeah, that would work. I mean, you can once. That's like the key phrase is you can do just about anything at least once. You can drink magma <laughs> once. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's lava by that point, sorry. That, no, that, have you seen that Tumblr post of somebody talking about, like, I feel like it would be like... Shit, what did they say? I don't know, but they asked My to eyeball's find... gonna be so fast! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Sorry, you were saying? Scientists that answered about it would be like, it'd probably be like melted ice cream, but with like cookie bits in it to represent the rock. So if you could handle the heat, that's what it would feel like. Oh yeah, the original person was like, I feel Ooh. like it's probably just like the consistency Ooh. of honey. Christ! Me. Be nice to me. I got the apartment gate key. And a snack for later. The apartment <laughs> gate key. Oh boy, I love beef jerky. <laughs> Fuck this thing. Look at this. I don't like it. Aw, he's a little wiggle boy. Wiggle somewhere else, you little fuck. Not dog. Aww. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> we do not dog the, the lying figures. Do -do 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 -do. Does two have any dogs? I know one does, and then three definitely does. I don't remember dogs in two. I don't think there are any dogs in two. Two is the very humanoid centric. The dogs in three are the coolest. The, yeah, they are great. That thing wandering at you out of the fog is really unsettling, but I want you to get a good look at this thing. Please note... Oh, the shiny Ew. texture. You get some membranes. Yeah. Please note the shiny texture, the, the appearance of decay. The, uh, the spewing of, of acid, the venom, maybe. Venom. Keep that in your brain. And you spew venom! That's like pussy. Little, little spitter boy took a little bit more wax than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Jasper. Yeah? Just like pussy? Oh, you actually heard that. Oh, da yeah, I did. <laughs> Why is my chat so horny tonight? <laughs> this isn't even horny. I'm just saying things. These are just calculated observations. Oh Everybody else I can't speak for, I just say stuff. I is it me doing this? It did I do this to you? To all of you? Well... Yes. Yeah, they are definitely chat. They're just verbal chat. Frequently, I think of this old Tumblr Media post that's like, what would it be like to have a Twitch chat in your chat head horny. when you were doing things? And then like the follow-up is like, Twitch chat when I walk into the dark kitchen at night to get a drink. And it's just like, scared, scared, scared over and over again. Monka S, like, Monka S. Monka S, yeah. <laughs> Oh. 
Going to Silent Hill to get filth. C come on! Wait, that's what you want to do. Never mind. Huh? Oh. Does that look familiar to you, by the way? Um, no. Shitty jacket. Oh, they're fumigating the town. Oh no, we gotta get out. The road is blocked. I can't go any further this way. Notably, by the way, in this game, looking at objects does not cause your time to freeze. Yeah, so you can get your ass eaten. Ass eaten. Hey, and you're the one calling us, horny. I don't know what you mean. Coming from the one with literal horns. Uh, you said coming. Hey. <laughs> We're gonna get. I'm gonna get demonetized right now. I don't even have to upload anything. I'm, I'm already demonetized. I'll behave. <laughs> no, I don't. You don't have to stop. But like, <laughs> just I'm very amused. Come. You just write C U M by the way. You can just say come. I actually once got into an argument with a writer come. friend, another writer friend, of whether or not there ah. occasions where you use it as Jesus. C O M E and C U M and I never use it as M E. They they firmly believe that M E is the action and U M should only refer to the actual fluid. Do you mean jism? I hate that word. I hate that so, so much. Welcome, Welcome back, Ryan. Look, I'm of the opinion that you is the only correct answer. Turn this down, Dutch. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> See, anytime people bring up a Dutch oven, it reminds me of one of my favorite uh, leads at my job. Like... You have to bear mm -hmm. in mind that she was like super excited and she had like a four week long vacation over like a winter break, whatever. And she's, you know, like 28, 29, married and was super excited and all that and asking how everybody's, you know, vacation was. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, I work with a lot of, you know, older white gentlemen who are just sitting there dead face staring at her. And without like missing a beat, she yells over the mic, well, I got this wonderful Dutch oven. And just everybody <laughs> died. <laughs> just everybody died, and this poor woman had no idea why. I think that's a regional term. <laughs> oh, garbage! No use for that. God. The thing is, Dutch oven can mean the appliance. It can also mean something extremely gross. It can also mean something else extremely gross. There's a lot of things it can be. Which oven is what I make sourdough in. <laughs> me too. <laughs> oh, you exhaust me. Well, the one I'm willing to say on stream is the action of Dutch ovening someone is when you're in bed with someone and you fart underneath the covers and you, th and you pull it over their head. The yes. Ow, why? I got a health drink. Is that it? We should ban Vic from the punish option. It is a lot of it. Use your words. What the fuck is that? You do use it a lot. Welcome to the first real section of the game that gave me anxiety. Everybody knows what my favorite part in this hotel is. Well, which part gave you anxiety? The lack of lighting or just how bad the walls clash with the floor? Huh? This is a very cheap apartment building, so that's why it's like that. God, it's so bad. I almost forgot to grab this. Another thing you can forget to grab, because almost all the maps are missable. <sighs> hey, I heard you, like, blindly wandering and not remembering what doors are locked. Love it. 
Love it. Love it. <laughs> Jesus, sorry. Like people have actually done like hard mode in this game is not like combat hard or riddle hard. It's don't use maps. Yeah. I think it'd be fun to draw your own map as you go. Like how it looks visually. Yeah, I had to do that for Silent Hill 1 because the last area doesn't have a map. And it's also non-Euclidean. Ooh, some of my favorites. Mm -hmm. So you got to be under a, a light in order to actually read the maps, by the way, because it's too freaking dark. That's actually a good touch. It is. It's locked. It's sealed off. Mm -hmm. It's locked. <laughs> it's like, look, we don't judge nice. horny games here. People got needs. My boy. No, my boy. Steppy. Steppy. Okay. So generally, it's a good idea to, like, work by single axes. You go left, then you go right, then you go up north, and you go south, and so forth. Because if you don't, you are going to get sidetracked so badly. Ooh, woo, watch this. Let's try this, by the way. Just gonna drop that down a touch. I was muted for a sec so I could eat chips. Hope you enjoyed the chips. I got these like, I guess they're not chips. They look like little footballs. They're Lay's poppables. Mm hmm They're just weird. They don't crunch as much as chips because they're hollow. Ooh, ooh, what's this? I got a flashlight. Oh. Silent Hill flashlight. Gives you tetanus. Sewing machine, nothing special about it. The enemy appears blind. I mean, you'd be blind too if you didn't have a head. Probably. I mean, you could have eyes somewhere else. On the inside? The eyes were many. inside all along. Woo! Oh. Excuse me, I burped. Huh? I said, excuse me, I burped. <laughs> didn't, didn't hear it. I can't get the door open. Hello? Can't see. Oh! Hello? It will. It will. This guy's okay. surprisingly calm for having beaten to death multiple flesh bag things. Ah! That's James a glitch. Yeah, James is completely dead inside. Men's got I nothing left. Ah! Part of why people are so pissed off about the um, remake that's going down right now is because the the scene at the beginning with the iron cast is on my nose scope. They reworked it where he looks like he has like an actual expression, and that actually kind of misses the point. Also, swear to God, at first glance, I thought that was Markiplier. In the changed image. <laughs> in in the, the the remake, the remaster in that scene. Ow. Why ow? I said how. 
I don't know. It's just the expression plus the lighting, and I don't know. I want to see somebody edit that now. Who's? We're not filling anything. We're filling James's void. You can't fill that void. I don't care how much penis you got. <laughs> We're just gonna let that slide, huh? Well, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, we'll we'll let we'll let the penis slide. That's kind of the point. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I got handgun bullets. Are you regretting having us both in the same stream yet? Regretting? No. Learning <laughs> why it was a why it was a decision. Okay. Ten years of us being like this to everybody around us. <laughs> There's a reason why we have a very small friend group. Oh, come on. <laughs> See, Tidu gets it. Oh. Really shiny too. Yeah. Very impressive so, um, effect for this generation, by the way. On um, them, I feel like it's more like plasticine than mm -hmm. lying figures. That just looks, might be. I mean, they are mannequin legs. Yeah. Looks like the lock is broken. I can't open it. Imagine being in this apartment at the very end of the dark hallway. <laughs> just imagine that. Why is it that for every door that you can't open, they have to like list a different reason for it? Like the sentence structure oh. is entirely different for each one. They, they do. They they have like three types. There's, it's locked and the lock's broken and the lock's broken or and or I can't move this door. Um, the first is you will open this at some point. The second is you will never open this. And the third is you may open this if you perform a puzzle. See, th so this will never be indicators as for the status of the core, basically. Mm -hmm. See, if I ever make a game like this, I'm just going to eventually have a door that you indicate on it and it just says no. No, not this one. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> This is shit's locked, the game. Hello? Can you see why this game was very spooky back in the day? Yeah, like who would design an apartment to look like this? Like, is that supposed to be wood or carpet that you're stepping on? It's tile. Cheap linoleum. I've seen apartments like this, actually. I know, and I don't like it. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. Feng Shui is dripping. <laughs> it's absolutely not dripping. Do you know how much work I'd have to put into that apartment to make it even passable? I mean, if everything was in great shape and this was actual wood floor, you could probably make this look good, but you'd have to have a whole suite of furniture. Oh, absolutely. Like, the only thing I could say is that the living room area is actually rather spacious, and so there's a lot you could do with it, but that kitchen just blows. Mm -hmm. Barely a galley. Three o'clock. Clock has stopped at three and 15 seconds. Faceplate is closed. It's locked. I can't touch the needles of the clock like this. What do you mean something's dripping? There's writing on the clock. The scarves from the past shall remove the nail that stops time. Push the clock. Can't push it. No matter how hard I push, it doesn't move. It's like it's stuck to the ground. I just saw Don't You Oo Woo Me. I'm gonna oo you, oo you again. It will. It will. Okay. 
Watch this. Watch this. Ow, ah, why? Hmm. Interesting. Can't get past there. Well, it looks like I'm done with this floor for now. Porque. <laughs> Union action is bullshit sometimes. Can agree. Oh. Oh god, a public laundry room. Ah, why? Normal washing machine. There's nothing of interest. Thank you. There's a trash chute. There's some kind of strange garbage stuck in the hole. Hmm. I think you mean urban slide. Oh my god. Here we go. This is a normal apartment laundry machine. Look, the only apartment I've ever lived in that had a public laundry. If you put your clothes there, you had to sit there and stare at the washing machine. Otherwise, you will never get your clothes back. Never. Never get your clothes back ever again. Doesn't matter how bad they are, doesn't matter how dirty they are, doesn't matter how out of fashion they are, you will never get your clothes back. I mean, it's a good way of recycling clothes. I suppose that's true. <laughs> Jesus, sorry. Bless you. I didn't sneeze, but thank you. Oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry, God. Got a cough? Ouch. It's certain, it's certainly something. It's for reasons. Hey, well, what's this? There's a key on the ground on the other side of the bars. If I stretch my arm out, I just might be able to reach it. Will you pick it up? Yes. Hawk knows. Hawk is fully aware. <laughs> Talking about weed? Mm. <laughs> Gasp. Mm, Fucking ow. lol. Me too. The shaky. Whoa, camera. Wait. Damn it. Little shit. <laughs> also, it just suddenly got darker in here. Sorry, that's me. You're good. Right, honk. <clears throat> also, that's a hell of a thing to say out of context. <laughs> also, <laughs> usually not true. Usually. Depends on what angle you're approaching it from. Oh my god. <laughs> huh? I still can't get over how bad that kitchen is. Lock's broken. <clears throat> I've actually had a kitchen like that. I'm so sorry. The kitchen Black at my parents' house growing up, I was convinced it was haunted. I had no criteria for this other than the fact that it was, like, long and dark, and I thought if I looked in there, there'd just be ghosts. Gun! <gasps> also, regarding the hurting thing, like, I know some people enjoy the hurt, but not me. It's a shopping cart. What is that doing here? Handgun. By the way, uh, apparently the the point of this gun being in a shopping cart was like at some point the developers had heard, wait, you can just buy guns in a, in a department store in America. And they're like, what the fuck? Yeah. So that's that. That's some funny little U.S. lore. No, no, no I got you. I'm just I'm just being playful. It's just like if you were to play a game and look inside the fridge and you'd see milk in a bag, then you'd know that the game was developed in Canada. <clears throat> or by Americans being horrified by it. <laughs> Why would they be horrified, though? Like, the only time I've ever been horrified was somebody misunderstanding it, and they got, like, one of the 
uh, pitchers for it, but they poured the milk into the pitcher and then put that in the fridge. And it's like, no, 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 uh, you completely misunderstand the point of the pitcher. The bag that you snip the corner of and then the bag sits in the pitcher. That sounds fairly normal to me, honestly. I'm going to be honest. I found that out like four years ago. Oh, my God. Because it's just not done like that here. It's just not done. It's like that that, that would occur to you is is unusual. No offense. Oh. Okay, I think I did everything up here. Hmm. So I'm just making sure I follow correctly. We came into this apartment to get a flashlight, look at a clock, and get our hands kicked by a girl, and now we're just wandering. That's Silent Hill? <laughs> they were in bags? Oh, baby, that's interesting. I did not know. I have a severe nostalgia for, like, school milk, even though I didn't drink it. Milk? I used to think milk was gross. It's locked. Okay, okay, I need to take a poll of everybody currently listening. Did, did your elementary school have chicken ring things? Okay, hold on. Uh, Mono Baby, can you set up a poll? <laughs> Thank you. It's specifically, chicken ring things is what they were called. <laughs> Honk, you might, you might be too young for it. My god. I don't even mean that Let's in like a goes. mean way. It's just okay. The poll is: Did your elementary school have chicken ring things? In the cafeteria, to be clear. Yes. Yes. Okay. Do I have any key items? Okay, mm. chicken ring things were literally just like, I think onion rings, but like a chicken nugget, except they were really good. If you hit slash poll, it should uh, bring up the menu. Hmm. See, T do I can 100% get behind that though. Like, I like my milk in all forms. Thank you very much. Oh, I have always fucked up Capri Suns and managed to like jam the straws in at weird angles and make it crinkly like straws. Wow. Okay, I did not go where I was thinking that was gonna go. <laughs> I mean, I fucked up the straws too. Ah, oh, the. This wasn't the school thing, but Kool-Aid jammers. Or not even the jammers. The jammers were in like a Capri Sun bag. I'm, I'm talking about the... They were like Kool-Aid and they were in the really thick plastic bottles where you had to twist off the top that looked like a lobster claw. Yeah. I, I know don't know mean. why I'm talking about nostalgia food. <laughs> no, you're good. I'm still stuck in the porn star thing. I just say things. What was that? Some kind of noise north of here. Well, it sounded like somebody pretending to be a baby. Oh. Peter, that applies to most things. I don't know them. Ooh. My wife. Thought you said it, that didn't literally mean milk. I remember my chat saying that they weren't talking about milk. Oh. And CT, do if you're really creative, you don't even need hands. Of course we got oh, no. food in elementary school. Some of the only time I ate. Mm. I came out darker than intended. <laughs> You're not alone. I mean, thankfully not me, but it was not an uncommon situation. That's why there's so many programs and stuff over the summer that give kids lunches because that's mm -hmm. yeah, libraries usually run. 
a bit of a dark topic for the stream, though. I mean, we're playing Silent Hill 2, but yes. Yes. I know what you mean. Damn. Well, I got the key to room 202. Three needles stand of three different heights, the fat, the tall, and the thin. From slow to fast, they move to the right. Scott rests not on three, but fifteen. Here's how many of the pencils I just remember right off the bat. I mean, this one I do, but... A lot of them are going to be like muscle memory or like the equivalent of that with your brain, you know? See, I don't solve puzzles, I create puzzles. <laughs> and then the entire game table makes me solve them. I solve well, practical problems. Literally, in my, one of my last D&D groups that Kate DM'd, it got to the point where we'd encounter riddles or puzzles in a dungeon, and the table would physically turn to look at me and go, So, Jasper, what do you think? It's like, <laughs> <sighs> like oh, thank you, but... Uh... Okay. <laughs> like, yes, this is the way I think, but also, you guys try. Yeah, like, I, I physically, like, had the group split for one of the puzzles at one point, and they're still just like, okay, but out of character, though. <laughs> no. Hmm. Holding hands one, that one. I can assure you, Mono Bay does not beat up enemies that are not a, uh, on fair grounds. They like a challenge. They I thirst for the blood of an cat. enemy. <laughs> <laughs> this is great music, by the way. Would you reach into the hole? Oh, absolutely not. It's like, I've read a Gygax script before. I know what happens in that hole. The body of a dead butterfly is on the ground. There's nothing else of interest here. It's too dark to tell for sure, but I think there's something on the other side of that hole. Will you investigate? I love when Heather gags on this later in 3. It's like, why would I do that? To the <laughs> toilet, too. Yeah. And she looks directly at the screen, too. That's if oh, you have a Silent Hill 2 save. Wait, that's only when you have a save? That doesn't happen just normally? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Imagine if you reached his hand and somebody just, like, held his hand. That's a fear of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Clocky, nice. Glory hole, but for intimacy. Ah, the touch of another human. It's been so long. I think I've actually seen those. A hand-holding glory hole. Where you can, like, no judgment hold hands with somebody. In New Zealand, they're using glory holes for scrotum exams, like medical. You know, if it gets them done, gets them done. I think it's New Zealand. Poutine that's not poutine? What would that be? I think it's not too poutine, I think, is when they use, like, shredded cheese rather than curds. Oh. That's what my opinion would be. 50% yeah. <laughs> said no. 50% said yes maybe, and 50% maybe said it's no. regional because Kate had them in Chicago or no, would it have been California? Um. You were in a different state than I was during oh, the yeah. time period that I am talking about. And oh, yeah. Mildred Scott. Like five minutes ago. <laughs> Henry Mildred Scott. Weird. That's, that's like that, a that's... Coquette, isn't it? Odd, isn't it, that Henry Mildred Scott would give people so much trouble. When the lines are literally there. <laughs> and the HMS. SMH. 
Nine. Ten. Fifteen. Croquette. Croquette. It's a uh, puck made of often breadcrumbs and uh, mashed or shredded or chopped Some proteins. Some potato components and, and meat. Yes, vegetables often. Oh, a crocket. I don't know why I said it the fucking Japanese way. I said it the French it way, me, croquette. That made me sound like a wee boss. Because that's... Because I grew up near Montreal. See, I would have said it the French way, but then Jasper would make fun of me for being French. <laughs> oh, a patty. A patty. Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay, should I try beef wellington on Friday or get rack of lamb? That sounds fancy, but I need help. Try beef wellington. Yeah, ah, go for the beef wellington, because like I said, one of our compatriots is 100% going to go for the rack of lamb, so you can just have some of theirs. I'll rack your lamb. I think you got that backwards, but I appreciate where your mind's at. Listen, I just said rack. Okay, just deal with rack. I'll ram your lack. God damn it. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, first try. Wait, why didn't you just move that out of the way the first time? Because it was because stuck. it's like locked into position. Shut up, there... it's a survival horror game. Shut up, it's a survival horror game. Don't Spend worry your about belief. it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> They're not known for... Mm. Don't worry about it. Also, this is Silent Hill. Doesn't have to make sense, literally. Also, <laughs> you just you fucking wait, Kate. Just you fucking <laughs> wait. That hurts me on like a visceral level, though. Oh, if you're going to be hurt by that, you're going to be murdered later by something else. Like I told you, my least favorite puzzle that is around here is just fucking... Like, can't. are you for real? Like, I didn't know it came that way, but hey, what do you know? Okay. Health drink. I do love shepherd's pie, by the way. I, I adore shepherd's pie. I've never had shepherd's pie. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm my family makes it a little weird. Um, uh, there's the corn, the ground beef, the, the cheese, the butter. They usually serve it like mashed potatoes. I prefer it served closer to the original way. No crust, though. I want it twice baked. Uh, with sour cream and onion and uh, cheese on top, so it forms a crust. Sounds really good. It's really good. It's beef, corn, mashed potatoes, spices. Usually it's in layers. I prefer it kind of mixed up and then made into like a casserole. What kind of spices? I mean, it can depend, but usually like a dash of paprika, some lots of black pepper, salts, and butter. Okay, if there's lots of black pepper, that should be good enough for me then. It's usually a simple with, dish. Most things with mashed potatoes are good to me. Mm -hmm. As long as you flavor the mashed potatoes. Unlike I've, my mother, who literally just boils them and mashes them and doesn't even put butter in them. I. So my family has um, strong traces of... I say traces because we don't actually know our heritage, but... Strong traces of Irish, French, and English. Guess where the cooking came from? Or Ireland. England. Excuse me. Oh, oh so but, they don't know how to season unless they steal spices from Indian people? <laughs> That's my Not even that. Thing about, I was going to say, it's like my favorite thing about English cuisine is if you look at their top five best restaurants, they're all French restaurants. They are. I had to... I had to single-handedly, like, introduce a lot of cooking concepts into my household. <laughs> I did. Um, so mashed potatoes were boiled mashed potatoes with a dash of salt. Not tea, but otherwise, yes. Boil a mushroom, stick them in a stew. Potatoes. Like, just the other night, I uh, did some chicken thighs. I deboned them. I uh, oh, tenderized them. Yeah, flattened them. Oh. I showed the, the brown picture I showed you where they were seared on top. 
Yes. Uh, I perforated them, uh, soaked them in mirin soy sauce and honey uh, with a dash of garlic. Uh, got the juices all up in there, then seared the skin and the other side. And then I air fried them in an aluminum foil canoe so the sauce would not touch the skin, but it would stew around the meat. So it was melt in your mouth, fall apart. Mm-hmm. I get a bigger air fryer so we can do meat in it. I recommend the Instant Pot brand air fryer. It's very good. I mean, we get a lot of good use out of our Instant Pot, so... Oh, look out! <gasps> you know, the, um... The designer behind Pyramid Head, actually, I saw a post from him recently where he said that Pyramid Head is not doing the thing that everybody yeah. asserts that he is doing in this scene. I was going to say it too, yeah. I mean, you continue. As far as I know, the creator uh, wishes that he, he'd never taken off as the core focus because he wasn't supposed to be the focus of the game. He He's was just James's thing, he, and then he got dragged into the whole franchise as the poster boy, basically. Courtyard key. Yeah, he's James's antagonist. Very specifically, James's antagonist. He is not a Silent Hill thing in general. And then in but, later games, you get shit like, oh, there were cults dedicated to Pyramid Head. Yeah. He did the job too well because it was such a striking image that people misinterpreted the hell out of him. So um, what the what Pyramid Head was doing was not intended to be seen as uh, sexual assault. It was intended to be seen as like vaguely misogynistic or sexualized violence, but not sexual, just vaguely sexually tinged. He's manhandling the lady things, but he's not committing sexual assault. Yes. You want to know what I remember Masahiro Ito for? Hmm. Fuck toast. <laughs> Fuck toast. I still want to I try that. I do too. Dilfy, but that was not a Dilfy body. <laughs> It was covered in soot and rot and blood. For everybody that doesn't know what fuck toast is, it is, I will read the tweet. My favorite way to eat white bread is this. Toast it after spread honey on it. Spread butter on the honey toast. Spread honey on the buttered honey toast again. Toast it again. The final one should be a toast and honey that you've spread on it first. My most recommended way to eat honey buttered honey toast is adding tiny peppers. This is fuck. That's the fuck part. Yeah. Uh, he's trying to say this fucks. I can see the appeal. That's such one pepper on honey. Now, I will say as an aside... I really appreciate that the uh, the side effect of bread not being a staple food in Japan is that they really appreciate bread. I was going to have Japanese bread. <laughs> I was brewing for American bread because, like, for bought American bread is just so sweet. It's trash wheat with sugar. <laughs> Where Unless the you make fuck it is this thing? It's You're gone. Right. He's just in the walls. Leave him alone. Literally just in the walls. Oh, no. There he is. He's just a little dude. Hi. Hi. 
I am so tired of you. Ha ha. Hi. Fuck you. No, no, I mean like American, like mass produced bread. It's like Wonder just, Bread. Wonder Bread is ass. Yeah, it's it's among the worst. It has it has a specific like nostalgia appeal, mm -hmm. but in terms of actual appeal. Yeah, but like it, bread not being a staple food, what I mean is that like it's a treat. Or it's a unique item you add to something to give it some flair, you know? And I think that's really cool. Like, there's special ways to prepare it. And I'm like, oh, okay. I like that. Yeah, I was spoiled growing up because I grew up with my grandmother who pretty much home makes everything, including bread. And then mm -hmm. I went to school and I was like, wow, this tastes like dessert. <laughs> yeah, like, real well-made, homemade bread it has a complex, interesting, fulfilling flavor that doesn't make you, you know... Feel like you're eating a very weak cake. What the fuck? What do you mean? I just like when people appreciate foods that, you know, I would normally take for granted. Why? Why must you punish? Why punish? I thought I did. Oh, God Man, damn it. It reverted. It this reverted. Elden, <laughs> this, this Elden Ring patch is looking kind of crunchy. Thank you for letting me know about that. Hey, Dr. Phineas. Uh, yeah, when when OBS crashed, it reverted to the settings pre, pre this stream. Wait, what is the title of my game? Okay, it didn't revert. Yeah, just don't Fight. touch it. <laughs> Oh my What's god, up? Silent Hill quests. <laughs> no, I refuse. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is Elden Ring. What are you talking about? Also, did someone get interrupted like five minutes ago? Because I feel like we accidentally talked over someone. If we did, I don't remember. Either. Okay, then I guess it doesn't count. Hey! <laughs> it could have very well been me, but I just forgot. God, it's not even functional right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people don't make a habit of that, please. You're just wasting your points. What's this? Oh, I got canned juice. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Thank you for the biddies. Rage. Remember to keep those not going off during the cutscenes. I rage or biddies? The the sound alerts. Also, your oh, rage rage is you can rage. I don't know. I don't. She's attacking my cord. So nothing new. I never said it was new. I was just telling her no. Oh my god! All go all the way around. Woo! Sorry, chat. They got you. I got splooched on. Wh mm. What uh, other word would you use to describe that? I mean... Hangum bullets. Sprayed? But it's less of a spray, really. There's definitely an element of spraying. But it has like a wet, gross, like build up sound. What the fuck? 
Oh! Okay, this is the pyramid head room. Right, so I went up the stairs. Now I gotta go back down the stairs to floor two. Go through the clock room again. I'm just mad again. Why are you mad again? The clock room. That, that just makes me so upset. That is the least egregious of any puzzle in this entire game, I, I assure you. So enjoy. <laughs> Am I not right, Jasper? Say that again. What? The clock logic is the least egregious of any puzzle oh, in the game. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Y'all realize you are just wasting your points, right? Also, I have to clear these from the quest log next time I start Elden Quest. <laughs> I'm not giving these points back. I have to manually go through my, my uh, administration panel for Elden Quest and I have to remove these quests from the log. Well, don't tell them that. Oh my god. <laughs> You just want to hear the sound, don't you? Hey, guess what? This is the most logical puzzle in the game. Watch this. There's a trash chute. Some kind of strange garbage stuck in the hole. Enjoy the bit. <laughs> Look, six pack of canned juice. <laughs> you just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> The garbage chute fell. The garbage in the garbage chute fell down. You couldn't reach it, so he just dropped a can of juice on it. Not as if he's got a two by four that he could just. Shut up. We don't talk about that. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> this hurts. Like, don't get me wrong. Yes, I wouldn't have drank the way. juice either. I probably would have just thrown it away. But I mean, for, uh... I mean, I might try the juice. Uh, I absolutely would not. I've been beating people half to death in a very bloody environment, and I've just happened to find a case of juice sitting in my path. No, I'm not going to be like, you know. It was orange juice. Yes, yeah, also I can't like do orange juice. No, hold on though. Like, I, I'd open a can. You wouldn't at least open a can. No. I'd have There's to. There's no. There's no gratification I would get out of it. One, it's orange juice, which I can't have. And two, I can't smell. So it's not like I can crack it open and just give it a big old whiff. No sense of smell? Basically none. It's like oh. saying I have like 5% ability to sp smell. Okay, okay. You burned the insides of her nostrils repeatedly as a chronically ill kid who threw up a lot and then oh. decided to teach herself to throw up through her nose. Oh, no. Because she thought that would be better on her teeth. Oh, no. That sucks. Okay, yes. I get it. I get it, though. Yeah, I get it because <laughs> of that. Like, see, like, I'd open it up and I'd give it a snurf just to see. Yeah, the no, garbage bag is torn. Mm -hmm. I was letting you finish. No, that's it. That's all I was going to say. I was literally just going to say, like, I can only really smell, like, incredibly strong, like, chemicals, mm. basically. But for the most part, no, I can't. You're going to uh, say the other thing? No, that's not, that is not appropriate for this stream, dear. So now I know what it is. Um, okay. <laughs> I've got actually a really strong sense of smell. Thank you. I can usually smell people who are in the room with me, um, as well as certain emissions and Arts. substances. No. <laughs> what is that Twitch emoji? What the fuck is that? Uh, it is a basted turkey with a man's head in it. Good God. Garbage bag is I... torn and the contents are strewn all over. Okay. Yes. So I don't have to get up to ask you, can I have a drumstick, <laughs> please? Uh, She's closer to the kitchen. 
I got a coin. Uh. Brackets, old man. What's this? Some gossip magazine, eh? The police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Locane and his sister Miriam, oh. committed suicide in his jail, jail cell early in the morning of the 22nd. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, severing his carotid artery. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss. The soup spoon buried two inches into his neck. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said, he didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. Before I do, But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, he's trying to kill me, he's trying to punish me, the monster, the red devil, forgive me, I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. <laughs> okay. Anyway. I want to root through some more trash. Can I move? Can I root through some more trash? Jesus Christ, I come back and what the hell are you doing, Mono? <laughs> I want to root through some trash. I mean, to be fair, that's a typically normal thing. Like, I enjoy rooting th through some trash every once in a while. I earned like a hundred bucks one day because of it. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Let Mono do what they do. <laughs> <laughs> If they wanna, if they wanna play the, the man turkey or whatever, <laughs> then, you know, let them. Shh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Why? You know, I'm okay with that. Hmm. You know, if if you want to play the man turkey, you're free to play the man turkey. I, I'm not gonna disagree. I was just curious. I played man turkey. <laughs> Which allows me to draw two cards from my deck. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. Also, this is a hell of a courtyard for an apartment building. Honestly, like, I was just about to comment on that. I don't think I've ever seen an apartment in recent years that actually had something this reasonable. I mean, yeah, it's still kind of grungy, but, you know, clean it up a bit. Like, I mean, they got a hot tub? My dude. Oh, I fell in. Oh, no. Oh! Don't worry, they're just filling the pool. It's okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know what I got, but I had to go. I had to oh, go. Snake. snake coin, thank you. I haven't healed once. Am I good? I am not good. I am not good. <laughs> oh, I did twice. Fuck. Oh, come on. What? Just you getting stuck on that. Don't worry about it. Ow! <laughs> it's really hard to just go straight on the D-pad properly. Because the, the PlayStation... The DualSense 5 controller... It, it, the the, the, the D-pad is a little mushy. If you get me. Mm -hmm. So it, I kind of veer off in different directions sometimes. Also, I got big hands, so like it's just it covers too much. Like if I place the tip of my thumb on the D-pad, it covers 90% of the D-pad. Oh my. Dual Sense 5. I will say though that uh, what, what is the turkeys? <laughs> I will say though that the DualSense Five is like the first controller that's ever been really comfortable for me. What? 
What the? Who could have done this? Okay, you gotta tell me what's going on with the turkeys. It's a big F in the chat. Yeah, you know, you could, they're backwards compatible. You can plug a DualSense 5 into a PS2. Don't you know that pretty much all of Sony Interactive's things are backwards and forward compatible? Unsettlingly realistic puke sounds. Oh, God. I don't need to hear any more of it. I didn't do it. Do what? I didn't do anything. I, I swear. He was like this when I got here. <laughs> my, uh, my name's James. James Sunderland. Um, Eddie. I don't know his fucking age. Eddie. Uh, Stop it. Uh, who's no. the dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I, mean, I swear I didn't kill anybody. You're not. I'm glad I have my headphones off. Red, <laughs> <ice pyramid thing. laughs> Red pyramid thing. I don't know what you're talking Kate. about. Honest. But I did see some weird looking monsters. They scared the hell out of me. So I ran in here. <laughs> well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh, I, Don't worry, I this is the only you, scene like this. Know. I'm not even from this town. I just... I just... <sighs> you too, huh? Something just brought you here, right? Uh, yeah, you could say that. Well, whatever it is... I think you better get Stop. out of here soon. <laughs> so yeah, to it. You're right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. No. Oh. Be careful. No, oh, I just ate. Ugh. Come Jeez, on. <laughs> like, they could have done it twice and then stopped. You be careful, too. <laughs> well, I mean, you know as well as any, like, if you start gagging, it's hard to stop gagging. Exhausting. You know, I shut up. You. I love you. <laughs> you know they say if you if you uh, take your your left hand and you put your you fold your thumb into your palm and then you press it, on the joint. It helps with your gag reflex. It, it does. It's an actual pressure point. Yeah. I can tell you from experience it works. All right, so we got a we collected a a. a, a a moment. Um, we got two coins. Old man and snake. Let's just head north. And a gun. <laughs> James Sunderland, what have you got there? A knife! <laughs> oh, if all my. <laughs> Solid snake, what have you got there? A knife. No! <laughs> Humming? Uh, I don't know about that. I've never been in the mood to hum when it's happening. Sightseeing brochure is laying here. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor Roger Widmark. I mean, to be fair, this is probably relaxing for some people to be able to run through and just beat nondescript humanoid shapes to death. Like, it's like not a, like you feel morally bad for it. Like a rage yes. room. Yeah, it's like a rage room, but with fleshy bodies. Like, 
you know full well people would pay for that. I mean, you're kind of onto something here, but... Huh. No, I don't See? mean, like, make an idea, like, a real <laughs> thing of that. <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was trying to figure out where you were going with that. I was like, you know, I was just kidding, like... <laughs> I'm talking about the game. Okay, I was making sure that you were advocating for, like, beating people to death as some form of therapy. Not on Twitch TV, I'm not. <laughs> mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. What if this was on Picardo? Oh yeah, then we get real guillotini with it. What were you doing down there? You got some business down there? You can y'all you can also put peen on Picardo, so. Yeah, I've been like I've been considering if my audience gets a little bigger and I'm not like splitting my streaming time, I've been considering just drawing adult art on Picardo again. Um yeah, that'd be fun. It would, but like, you know, as it is, my stream time is limited, so I have to kind of think about it as an investment. Right. So unfortunately, if I if I had a stream, I got a stream on the, the platform that's going to get me a bigger audience, which I hate that I have to do, but thank you, Tito. You know, got to do what you got to do. Shit. So I have the two coins. All oh, right. I didn't go through that door. Yeah. And Picardo is like, so what I may do with Picardo is when I start getting a pretty decently sized audience on the regular, um, I will just announce Picardo streams as special little events and then just link to them to get like the regulars in, you know? Oh, you dick. Yes. Yeah, special secret streams that I will announce on my Discord. Hmm. Secret. Special secret streams. Let's see what's inside. I'm so I wonder what's going on with that stairwell. We still have Rice Krispies. What? Rice Krispies. Do we still have Rice Krispies? Why would we have Rice Krispies? Because I got them for when I was stoned last time. I would assume I that means you still have Rice Krispies. I don't remember us ever buying Rice Krispies. They're on the top shelf. There are a lot of shelves. Of the cabinet. <laughs> we have more than one cabinet. Of the cabinet where the food is. Ah, oh domesticity. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Okay, I will look, but... What? Vic ate the Rice Krispies. <laughs> Damn, it can't get through there. Yeah, imagine when Curse and I were both like this in the same room. <laughs> Toxicity levels exceeding parameters. <laughs> uh, Don says he gets toxic when he gets high. It's true. I was surprised. But the thing is, he also took care of me when we were both fucked. Yeah, and I mean, he he's not. Pizza. He's not mean, like, but he he's kind of toxic when he gets high. <laughs> it's now fun. Now imagine what it's going to be like with me, Devin, and 46. Oh, my God. Okay, so the coin. The, the... Oh, that sounds good, Tidu. I remember why I didn't remember the Rice Krispies now, because they're sin. They have cinnamon. I know. That's I what love I said. cinnamon. Oh, I despise cinnamon. More for Jasper. Jasper, oh, yeah. can I have a white crispy? Yeah. I'll Thank feed it to you. Thank you. You know, Vic, that'd probably be the only way that I'd be able to enjoy cinnamon. Is, you know, just a spoonful of cinnamon, a dab of Tabasco on there, pop it in. 
I mean, I can't say that those flavors would exactly be <laughs> ill-matched, just not on a Rice Krispie. No, no, just on a spoonful. Only a spoonful. Yeah. Jumps up and eats Radia's Rice Krispie. Like uh, Don't Mono, eat my yeah. Rice Krispie. Mono knows cooking stuff. Mono, Mono is maybe. really good. I don't know. Could you could you do cinnamon as part of a rub? Yeah, I, I think so. A spicy cinnamon rub? Yeah, I've tasted yeah. a curry with spicy cinnamon forward. Stone okay, shoes. Jasper, help me. Huh? I have old man coin and snake coin, and I don't even know where to use them or how to get the third one. I think you might be missing an item. Yes, but I where? <laughs> One sec. I'm thinking. Which which coin did you like? I have old man and snake. 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 <laughs> oh man! It's room one hundred five. Room one hundred five. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Apple glazed pork, yeah. War. See, I have such a hard time with subtle flavors. War. That sound really good, though. War has changed. 105? Yeah. It's blocked, though. Um, what kind of blocked? It says... Not... Media use the elevator to move from floor to floor. Snake, <sighs> use the elevator to move from floor to floor. I'm not sure of that because that's what I double checked it. You've got the prisoner and the snake. No. Old man and snake. Oh, different puzzle. Ugh. Can I drop down into 105? Can I drop down into 105? No, that's the wrong. I was. I was looking at the wrong thing to double check. No, it is room 105. Okay, you're missing a coin. Yeah. Prisoner, I'm missing the prisoner coin. I'm a little stonked, okay? Um, <laughs> 109 is where the key is. Have you been to room 101, though? I I have been to 101. Okay, so you should be able to get into 109, then. Uh, is it says you there have to visit... a room 109? Doesn't say there is. Am I mixing up the... Oh, I, you have to cross over. The two apartment buildings are connected, if I remember right. But where do I cross? Let me see. God, it's been, like I said, it's been so long since I've actually played proper. Yeah, Mono Baby said, no, I will not make a boring cake. <laughs> I, I don't even know. Night. Oh, have a good one, Zyke. Hi. Is it this? Oh, it might be this. Here, a scroll up. Or rather, a zoom out on the map a bit. Can't zoom out. Can't? No. Can't adjust. Okay. One sec. Like I think that's just been forever. I remember plot stuff, I don't remember. Yeah, I can't the zoom out. In-betweens of the puzzles. It's one zoom setting. No, your eyeball should be able to fucking telescope. Damn. I wish. <laughs> I see it. I look with my look balls. so in front of me. I see it so in front of me. <laughs> I see it with my eyeballs. It must be nice. Oh. Because you are in Blue Creek. You know what I like is I like cowboy candy. Cowboy. Cowboys. Cowboys five. Do you Cowboys. have the Do you have the Lion House key? No. Yeah, cowboy candy is a uh, candied pickled jalapeno and you eat it on crackers with a dab of cream cheese. Okay, okay, I'm, uh, that sounds good. What's up? 
I said that sounds yeah. really good. Um, yeah, it's just the center 109. I don't, I don't know. The white door. I don't have a 109. There's no. But what if it's over there? The 209, then you fall down. Take a right, enter the stairwell on the left, and the first floor. <laughs> Don't worry, I've been actually paying very close attention this entire time trying to get a grasp of what's going on because I'm trying to show a genuine interest in the things that my wife loves and I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, that happens. See, the problem is that Silent Hill, it's not a... G Your first playthrough usually takes like 15 to 20 hours. You could beat this game in four hours. Well, yeah, if you knew what you were doing. That's the thing. I'm looking. I'm hate look identifying, like the thing with trying to pick through walkthroughs. Oh, you can zoom out. Oh, fuck! You can okay. telescope your eyeballs. Okay. Okay. And yeah, honk. I feel that. There's no 109. Okay, it's through a window. That window. Two unlocked rooms on this floor. One of five and one. <laughs> Both are near stairs. And you've seen Eddie. Yeah. Well, I'll be damned. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> what a saucy bitch. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm, You'll need I'm, to go back through the window in room 203. 203. I haven't done, but you can't access 203. <laughs> Christ on a cracker. Every walkthrough, I was just saying room 109. I'm trying so hard right now. It's not you. <laughs> Are, are you looking at the correct game? Yes. <laughs> 203. Locks broken. Can't open it. Is that not the other world? That might be the other world. I think we're way earlier. 205, maybe? I see it. Second floor in 209. I'm pretty sure I've been in 209. Yeah. Middle stair stairwell. Look to your left on the floor to find the map of the West Apartment Building. I did never got to the West Apartment Building. I haven't gone to it yet. Oh. <gasps> okay, so it gives going. It's in the stairwell. The middle stairwell. That's where you get the map that adds to that. But. There was nothing in the stairwell. Because I can't access the, w the West Apartment building. It says 209. Note on it which tells you where to find the key to unlock the door. He's in a room near the first floor staircase. Read the note if you want to, then go to the middle part of the hallway where the middle stairwell door is marked by the red exit sign. Hold on. I'm going to 209. I'm fucking... I'm losing my shit here. I do not see it so in front of me. I do not see it with my eyeballs. I do not see the art with my eyeballs. Now, keep in mind, y'all, that it's not exactly that I'm cheating. If this were the, the age of the game, uh, what would be happening is you would wander around for a while, not getting something. You get frustrated. You'd shut the game down. You'd come back like a day later, and then you'd try something new. That was pretty standard to the process. Okay. I am now in 209. Flashbang. It do kind of flashbang you. Okay, so it says I'm supposed to find something in 209. Yes. 
It has no. a note that tells you where to find the key to unlock the door. Mm, no. No, there's n literally nothing in this room. Did you already pick it up? I don't think so. So it says the key is in the staircase, the middle stairwell from there. Okay. Am I playing a different version of the game than they are? That's the only thing I could think of because I don't know. Okay, middle stairwell, second floor stairwell. Uh, let's try up here. Well, there's handgun bullets. Yeah, bullets. Hmm. Well, there's 309. Hmm. You can't just go downstairs and find 109. No. I know it doesn't show on the map, but like... The hallway ends before 109. I'm reading other stuff, trying to... <sighs> yeah, nothing. making me See, feel bonkers. I'm making myself feel bonkers. Okay, I'm going to go to that stairwell down where 107 is. But those were all broken. That's where the juice was. The juice. The juice. Here's a, a cake mix in a box. Make a cake for us. Horrifying. What, you mean boxed white cake isn't like the peak of culinary cuisine? Oh, I guess if you're used to the church meetups where they served up the potato salad and it's just got, it's got too much pepper in it, eh? Way too much pepper in it. Kind of, kind of spicy. Pepper spicy made me hurt. Guess what? I know people who think that. So do I, unfortunately. Uh, pepper is kind of spicy in here, eh? This is Minnesota. We ain't got no room for spicy peppers. <laughs> spicy peppers. Peppers. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing here. Okay. I'm outside again. If I paste something in Discord, will you be able to look at it? Yeah. Let me know when you've done it. I'm gonna paste from the clock puzzle, so... See, this is where I found the juice. There is okay, no okay. 109. That's 107. Fire escape key. Okay, that, okay. Didn't That's grab that. Down, go to room 307. Grab the courtyard key, get out of there. Down the hall and around the corner is the fire escape key. All 
All right, we will resume from 307. This is going to be a clusterfuck. The way things were divided in all the other walkthroughs, I think, is what was maybe throwing me off on where I actually needed to be looking. In terms of what information to give you. They also might have done things in a different order. 307. Down the hall and around the corner? What do you mean around the corner? There is no around the corner. Oh, wait, no. You know, just around the corner, mate. Is it in the one fucking room I did not look in? Hey, Nibillion. How you doing? Oi. Ahoy, hoy. Ahoy, hoy. Okay, I said uh, down the hall and around. Oh. Oh my god! Say not realizing you can move within a space thing. No, the key was just on the ground. It was invisible to me until I noticed where my character's head was pointing, and my flashlight That's pointed been directly. A really at good it. indicator of where items are, because James will just look at them. Yeah, but I was running from monsters during that whole time, and I didn't notice. Man, imagine just being James and being like, "Man, I need to progress. I'm gonna look at this item, but I'm just gonna walk past it for now." Yeah, God, 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 God. Okay. Now I know where I need to go. Good job, James. <laughs> now we've got the key. What item do we need next? Can you guess? And he just looks directly at the camera. <laughs> Damn it. That's what we know. <laughs> I'm like a 12 year old with my humor sometimes, and he did not. You're I good. Not. You're good. You love me. You wouldn't have me on your stream if you did. What was that? I said you love me. You wouldn't have me on your stream if you didn't. Ah, uh, well, yeah. Well, hell, what's the reason I'm here then? Kappa. Hey! <laughs> Rude. I'm teasing, and you know it. Fuck ass. Okay, now I'm just doing that just to fuck with me. <laughs> just anger, just anger, just anger. Every time I think of it, I hear oh. it in the voice room. I does it in though. Muck ass. <laughs> yeah. There's no fire escape outside the door. Maybe they knocked it down when they built the building next door. I think I can get into the building next door if I go through the window in front of me. I see it so in front of me. I look at it with my. Eyeballs. eyeballs. No, you're missing the R, but I can't say it right either. Eyeballs. Eyeballs. My eyeballs. I I look at Dart with my eyeballs. I see it's so right, in front of me. Yeah, I've done so that. So there was eyeballs. one time, like one epitome of ADHD thing I think that I've ever done is I was trying to take my meds from a bottle, like I'd put them all in one bottle so I could just knock them back. Mm -hmm. And I was going to go get a soda out of the fridge. And instead of grabbing the soda and walking away with both the soda and my meds, I just swapped spots and put my meds in with the soda and didn't know where I put them. I only got that beat by a small margin, but I got that beat. Not trying to one up your story, but I think you'll find this funny. Um, one time after cooking. I put away the green pepper because I used it, right? And then I walked away and I ate my meal. And a couple days later, I was looking, where is my green pepper? Where the hell is the green pepper? I know I had half a green pepper. Uh, I looked through the whole kitchen, a whole fridge, nothing. Six hours later, my grandma says, were you looking for the green pepper? And I said, yeah. She holds up a, a rotten green pepper. And I was like, where the fuck was that? She's like, in the silverware drawer. <laughs> Love that. Looks like there's something stuck inside the toilet. Will you take it out? Yes. You gotta get the liquid out of the way first. Could you just fish it out with the fucking... Never mind. No, remember, we're not playing in logic here. Does not wash his hand. Does not even wipe off his hand. It looks James like doesn't shower at all, probably. There's some kind of memo in it. Two. I halfway expected this motherfucker to pull out a silly straw. 
2, right 15, left 12, right 9. I get a coat hanger, for God's sake. Literally anything. How you liking the ambiance, Kate? <laughs> I could take it or leave it. Uh huh. Me on the other hand, yeah. I mean, the Ooh. problem is like a lot of the ambience that they have 12, 12, just right like nine. reminds me of other things. She works in a warehouse, so you can't really do much clanging and banging without her just being like, "Ah, oh, yeah." Two. Right, fifteen. Left. 12, right, 9. Hang on, bullets, nice. Hang on, bullets, nice. Hang on, bullets, nice. Hang on, bullets, nice. <laughs> Why didn't they just grab it in a pot? Okay. No, it's actually to make it feel more satisfying. Ooh, a piece of candy. <laughs> Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a health drink. Now, I like that little trash can. It's like that little little 70s like flower print with the yellow goldenrod. I like it. Pizza. That's, that's too short though. Pizza time. It's to encourage you to take the garbage out more often. That just sounds like work. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, pizza time. Ow! Pizza time. That's not pizza. It could be if your imagination is strong enough. Pizza time. 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 Anyway. To be honest, that would actually be really satisfying. Mm -hmm. Fuck. I do like this rage room yeah. idea. I really want pizza. God, I... Pizza, pizza. <laughs> pizza time is actually not related to milk time. I would not recommend mixing those two. You get gassy. Eh. To be fair, not much different from reality, so I don't care. Although pizza time after milk time. Sounds like a good time. Map. It's the map. It's the map. The map. It's, it's the map. One oh nine. Now it makes sense. Welcome to hell, little soul. <laughs> Was it because I of the milk type thing? <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Clockwork Crane. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. None pizza left milk. <laughs> You know, that wouldn't be the first time someone followed me after I make a reference to milk time. I mean, that's a great time to follow you. Oh, thank you, Clockwork Grain. Yeah, I, I like these Silent Hill games. Pizza, yes, yes, as it does. All according to Keikaku. There's a no stuck in the door. Kakako means plan. Dear Tim, I have to run an errand, so I'm going out. I left the house key with Uncle David. You know where he lives, don't you? The key's in the room near the first floor staircase. I'll be back as soon as I can, so please watch the place while I'm gone. Oh, Weenie Hut Jr. Don't like it. Ah. Ow. With the little leggies. That's what they do. This was not in the cave. It was not. It was not. Also, look at this. Real-time reflections in a PS2 game. That was so impressive. Yeah. Can't say. I, I can't appreciate that. When you said it was going to be a t PS2 game, I thought it was going to be a lot more uh, JPEG-y. Uh... 
Uh. Ah! Huh, that monster. It looks like half of a mantar. <laughs> what words did you just say? <laughs> mantar. <laughs> Sorry, Grind. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of adjacent sounds to it. It's not as bad as Silent Hill 4, though. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, it's... it. To be clear... Think about the leap in quality between... Uh, and we're talking quality as in verisimilitude, you know, re like realism or complexity of graphics. Uh, between the Super Nintendo, 1991 through 1994... And the PlayStation 2, 2000 through 2006, right? Less than 10 years to go from Super Nintendo to PlayStation 2. And look yeah. where we've gone in the last 10 years. Oh, yeah. 5% five, 5 like, of that. Mm. In my opinion, the real interesting work in graphics is not in make it look more realistic. It's in A, make it more efficient so you can cram more weird shit in there, and B, do novel stuff like Valve did with the portals, uh, or interesting... Interesting, like, um, procedural effects stuff, like volumetric fogs. Uh, ray tracing is another example. Uh, volumetric clouds, that sort of thing. That kind of stuff is the only, like, territory that's left to really push forward into. The rest we're catching up with to make it efficient enough to run on, you know, cheaper and cheaper machines. I don't we're, really know what exactly ray tracing is other than that it looks good. <laughs> I can actually describe it if you'd like me to. Please. Uh, so ray tracing is the practice of tracing the path that light follows by casting a, a ray, an, an, a vector of arbitrary length, vector meaning straight line, from a, a specific point to another point. Typically, that's done from uh, tracing the viewer's perspective to a light source or vice versa and uh, extrapolating what that would look like on the various surfaces as it goes without you having to look at the light source or have it present in a draw. For instance, something that is possible with, re with ray tracing that was not possible without ray tracing is reflections of elements not within your field of view. Say you're looking in a mirror and in the mirror behind your character and above you there's a light bulb. Previously, not possible without duplicating the environment into the reflection to fake a reflection. With ray tracing, the light bulb casts rays in the environment, the mirror bounces those rays, and you can see the, the light bulb that's not within your field of view. This also results in um, uh, scatter lighting that's a lot more convincing, such as from ambient light sources bouncing around like corners or uh, around surfaces. So it makes like uh, sky lighting way, way better in appearance, which is why you see in all these Minecraft or whatever ray tracing screenshots, all these brightly lit scenes with the soft diffuse lighting. That diffuse lighting, you either have to bake it in manually or you have to fake it with manually inserted light sources normally, but with ray tracing, it's all simulated. You know, something I've heard you mention in relation to VR, uh, ray tracing is, in terms of GPUs, computationally extremely expensive. Uh, so it tends to impact performance very badly. Yes, it's also great for light distortion. So you can cause refraction and uh, warping with it. Uh, there's. It is. Uh, the what we're working on right now is. The length that you can scatter the rays, length a ray can be, and the density of rays. 
Uh, so the more rays, the more computationally expensive, and the longer those rays bounce, the more computationally expensive. With certain light sources, you can you know cut it off at a certain point because they're not going to be powerful enough. Like a candle is not going to cause uh, rays a hundred feet out. You know, it's going to go like ten feet, and then it's going to bounce around the environment a little bit. Uh, but the sky, they're going to be of enormous length. Or at least how they, uh, they're going to impact every surface, you know? If you have a, a, an interior of sufficient depth, the skylight is going to fade out. The work on ray tracing is to get that done efficiently and accurately with as few rays as possible. So it's really just a lot of complex math and a ton of tweaking and a ton of experimentation and a ton of computer models. Uh, until it looks more and more realistic. You know, we could solve this easily. How? Something Touch written grass. <laughs> be nice. Three bright <laughs> coins and five holes be. At one end sits the seducer of she. That's the snake. The wind from behind the woman doth play. The formless one no lies further from they. The old one sit beside the serpent sits not. Tis the prisoner's left that he doth rot. <laughs> do do not do not do that. Do not get a male male power cord. Do not have one made. <laughs> also, same to do. I love that hardware store sign that says, "We do not do this." Picture of male to male power cord. Do not ask us to do this. You will be asked to leave. <laughs> do not make this. Power. This is a murder machine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. One second. Whew. Post nasal drip. Mm. Oh yeah, T. <laughs> uh, same fucking degree. Just different minors, I think. That was a weird laugh. I've never done a laugh like that before. I appreciate it regardless, though. Mm. You do? I ain't never seen an Emino like you before. What is this little tiny... What is this tiny little picture of macaroni and cheese? Wait, you mean you don't keep a tiny picture of macaroni and cheese on the wall? Oh, I'm sorry, Canadians. Craft dinner. You know, I'm going to have to get I am going to have to get a small like 8x8 eight eight framed picture of macaroni and cheese now just so that people ask questions That's what good Gucci sounds like Mm-hmm uh, Not this uh. <laughs> Oh, it's you Yeah I'm James. Also, this mirror scene was pretty revolutionary in terms of graphical fidelity. Angela. Angela. This is okay. a duplicated scene, by the way. I don't know what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? But you're the same as me. It's Good easy here. just to run. Besides, is what we deserve. No, I'm not like you. Are you afraid? I... I I'm sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? Not yet. She's not anywhere. Did she live in this apartment building? I don't know. So, all you know is she lived in this town. What did you say? How do you know that? Well, I just figured, because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Am I right? I'm so tired. 
So, why did you come to this town anyway? I... I'm sorry. Did... Did you find the person you're looking for? Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I, I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyway, she's dead. I don't know why I think she's here. She's dead? Don't worry. I'm not crazy. <laughs> At least, I don't think so. Uh, I've got to find my mama. Should I go with you? This town's dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. I'll be okay by myself. Besides, I'd just slow you down. What about that? Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If <laughs> I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. behavior is nearly a textbook example of a certain sort of experience that for, for some I don't need to say and for others it would be a spoiler and one is one of the heart-wrenching things about this game um, aside from the, 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 the looks of this room by the way uh, the the working mirror, the the fantastic music, that scene was like rough in a lot of ways. Angela's it's, um, existence as a character and her entire plot line is one thing that refutes the idea that Silent Hill is solely for punishment. Yes. Like personally, my views on Silent Hill is. A stuffed animal. I probably belong to the kid that used to live here. I don't believe that Silent Hill, and by the way, there are people who disagree with me, and that's fine. I don't believe that Silent Hill is for anything. I think it is a thing that exists and it does what it does without regard for any sort of higher agenda. That's my opinion. I, I prefer to think of it as more of a predator than anything else, but one that has to obey certain rules. Uh, something that's not really understandable or empathizable with by humans. But that's just because of my, you know, preferences. Some people have others. Uh, Devin has a really good interpretation that I actually really like. Yeah, he said he couldn't be here tonight because he's leaving for travel tomorrow. No problem. If he really wants to, he can always watch the VOD. Okay, so now I have the prisoner coin, I think. I did grab that, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, so I have to go back to the room with the... Oh, wow, my health is low. Ah, great. Okay, where is the... Oh, there's a stairwell right fucking there. Okay, great. Great start. Oh! That's why I didn't go to the stairwell. But yeah, I, I just felt bad because, like, I know how strong that scene is and, like, I appreciate the way that they did it and all that. But, like, I know that myself in that situation, I wouldn't have been able to, like, be in the same room as her. Like, I... She's afraid of knives. Uh... But, like, like, the moment that she stood up like she did, that would be, like, a massive no to me. I would have just left. 
Can't blame you. Shit. I don't like blades being wielded irresponsibly. That's something that freaks me out. Pretty strongly as well. Uh, my thing is unsecured sharps. You know? See, and like, I feel the same way, but also, even if it is 100% secured, it is anything that is not in my direct control that is near me. Ah, that's fair. Like, uh, I had to have a major conversation with one of my coworkers about it who literally only had a sharpened pencil. And I was like, hey, could I have a pencil? And they're like, sure, I don't care, and pointed it at me within like a foot of me. And I was like, uh, no, please just put it down. I'll grab it later. And they were like super confused, but I was like, no, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Yeah, that's a very understandable one, I think. Wait, where was the prisoner one? Uh, where was the coin thing again? Was it... Oh, shit. Where the hell was the coin thing again? The room? Yeah, the coin room. This is the safe. It should have marked the puzzle, but it didn't mark the puzzle. <laughs> Oops. 209? No, that was where I just it was. was. 105, did I say? No. I think it was 209. I'd really appreciate less monsters in here. Fewer monsters, if you will. Eh, that'd be nice, but... Nope, this is... Oh! 105. I guess I just didn't see it. Speedrunners for this game, you know, glitchless speedrunners, they are something else, because they'll be done with it like an hour and 15 minutes. Jeez. Like, they're just side-skirting corners. They're just doing, like, quick turns all over the place. I could not imagine that, because, like, good game aside, it seems really crunchy. <laughs> it's a pretty crunchy game. They're like, okay, so you gotta have tank controls on, because if you don't have tank controls on, you lose 1.4 seconds over the whole playthrough, having to adjust the camera angles. Right. What the fuck? That was an interesting noise. Hey! Yow! Yeah. There it is. <laughs> I've. Look, I curse like a sailor as a natural inclination and for various reasons uh two of which are one uh the the youtube policies and two uh i i feel like i my curses are losing their effect by being diluted by cursing too much um i've been trying to curse less so in, i've been sublimating my frustration by instead of just cursing again like a sailor uh it's just been coming out as noises. And the meat That's noise cool, is is one of them. Three by cones. Uh, one end sits the seducer, she, the snake. The wind from behind the woman doth play. Fuck. You know, avoid that too. Because that will still be picked up by the YouTube. Almost one null lies furthest from they. The woman besides the serpent sits not. Tis to the prisoner's left that he doth rot. Funk? Funk works.
So I think the snake is on the right side. Um, because the snake is at one extreme with void opposite, uh, meaning nothing. Uh, and if the old man is to the prisoner's left, that means the snake cannot be on the left. Yeah. Well, okay, maybe not. I don't know. I think you're on the right track. Okay. Right. Uh, all right. You have to take all the coins out to read the riddle again. Fuck. <laughs> That's so stupid. Okay. okay. Uh, Do you have access to the riddle right now? Um, the riddle? I did not No, I've got the answer. Let me see if I can get it. Shit. I keep doing that. That YouTube thing is just, it's just, uh, it's just like the stupidest, by the way. It, I'm not even saying like, I got it in first try. Ha <laughs> ha, Linehouse key. Um, Linehouse key. So I can leave now, I think. Man, I missed a puzzle. Damn it. You did. I missed like 90% of the game. Oh, oh. Um, I, I feel like that the YouTube thing is, the thing is, kowtowing to advertisers does not explain all of the YouTube thing. It explains like half of it. I think the other half is ideologically driven. Uh, and I think there's also a component of just wanting to take more of our money. Like, well, ge mean. genuinely. Well, because, you know, if if your video gets demonetized, uh, they don't always stop running ads. They just stop giving you the money from those ads. Right. So if your video gets demonetized and ads limited, uh, they'll still run ads, the same ads they would have, except they keep the money. All right, because you don't deserve it. That's basically how, how they're you? doing it. That's basically how they do it, yeah. Which makes no sense to me because you explicitly have to say whether or not your content is for a children audience or not. And so, like, if you say no, it's not for a children audience, like, what yeah. do you expect the content to be? Like, the thing is, because it's a fork where they say, if you declare this is not for children, we can double declare it's not for children. I, again, because of that, I legitimately think it's a measure to make sure they can just get an emergency infusion of money whenever they want. Right. You know, by basically saying, oh, we're short this quarter, so let's, uh, let's tighten the regulations, and then when they get too mad, we'll drop them again later, or stop enforcing them. I yeah. also think that um, it's very possible, nay, likely, that some executive with a lot of influence in the YouTube division, uh, shit, I'm going the wrong way, has very strong feelings about what content is appropriate to be online. Yeah. At the same time, though, there's also parts of me that feel like every once in a while they just because the thing is it's like bad things happening both with streaming communities as well as youtube what have you is almost cyclical in nature to the point where it's predictable and it gives them a lot because the whole thing of there's no such thing as uh bad advertisement or what have you i forgot the term that's fine no such thing as but bad press that's it and so if they make a quote-unquote bad call or a controversial change, 
suddenly everybody is talking about it. Even people that mm -hmm. don't use the platform are now suddenly talking about it. Like, oh, this is a big deal. We should talk about it some more. We should, you know, spread this to everybody. We know about how big of a deal it is, even if it doesn't directly impact them. And then they get to change it. Oh no, we apologize so much. And then it makes people feel empowered because it's like, oh, we're being listened to. There is power in our voice when really in the background, it's just some guy saying, yeah, all right, we can turn off the controversial switch now. I guess. It's like Blizzard's, um, uh, which character do we calculate is optimal to be gay switch that fucking they throw? minority calculator yeah. or whatever. The fucking, uh, the fucking, uh, yeah, it's the minority switch that they push to make sure that they get a burst of good press. Um, mm -hmm. I, the thing is, I don't think that YouTube Jeez. actually cares about goodwill because they have a total monopoly. There is no competitor to YouTube. Of course. I think it's personal feelings plus profit. But, I mean, I could be wrong. Oh, yeah. It's like none of us know for sure. It's such a large company that has such a massive control over anything that us trying to simplify what it is they're thinking, it could be much simpler or it could be a lot more complex. We'll literally never know because there's so many of them. We'll never get the truth. Mm-hmm. Now, the thing that is the problem is um, YouTube, unless they either roll some shit back or straighten the fuck up, they're just going to keep getting worse and worse. And they're going to keep driving more and more people away, ensuring that they will no longer be a cultural monopoly. Well, that's the uh, thing, though, is unless there's something to replace it, which I'm sure some people are already trying to think about that, most people are still going to stick with game. it anyway. Well, the thing is, I, I, I think you only need like 10 big creators, like really big creators to jump ship around the same month for it to happen. Just like 10. And um, if, if you got 10 big creators bring in a combined like 20 million people to a new platform, that platform is going to be like, OK, we need to put some more money in servers and then the, the ball is going to get rolling. If they don't put the money into their servers, it's not going to roll. Uh, mm. And if those creators, if YouTube rolls back the restrictions, it's not going to roll. But if they don't roll back the restrictions, I feel like they're going to be ensuring that YouTube in the next 10 years is going to go the way of Google now. Huh. Yeah. What was a fierce competitor Po poised to take a huge bit of the market share, just driven into obsolescence by stupidity. But now we'll we just have to more. see. Yeah, we will. Like, no matter what's going to happen, they're going to... Oh, hello! Yeah. Uh, companies are unfortunately run by people who can't run companies very well, by definition. <laughs> it's, it's just, that's who runs companies, is people who are not very good at running companies. Ooh, that will one-hit kill you, by the way. Yeah, I really don't like that. Don't you like that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the massive grinding sharp object that could one hit you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You gotta be very careful with this shit. I would imagine so. That's the attack you want to bait him into, because if you bait him into that, it's so, so easily telegraphed.
Don't worry, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. The only danger is if he corners you. So is this literally just a waiting portion? Yes. It's a survival battle. I don't like that. Well, you're not supposed what? to know that. What were you saying, Jasper? I forgot. Like what, you something? I think shoot, getting a shot, an actual shot on him might stun him. Or it, I can, like, it delays motion, but other than that, it's ammo thing. Yeah, see, this is where I would fail. Yeah, because it's... it's I, I would, I would absolutely just load every single bullet into that thing. That's exactly what they want you to do. And that's why they give you like 120 rounds in that building. Yeah, because all 120 would be going right into his dome. Don't even care. Uh-huh. The sound that the bullet impact makes, listen, is an indicator, a hint that you shouldn't be doing that. But it's, uh, yeah, people did it regardless. <laughs> Look at James, like, hmm. He's just, he's just way too calm about this entire situation. Where are you going? Oh, fuck! I forgot he did that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I almost died and I did the whole thing over again. I almost raid it. Look at his fucking face. Bro, me too. <laughs> me too. Get back here, you bastard! <laughs> oh. So here is where the theme of the game first really kicks in the aesthetic theme, to be clear. And not just apartment walking simulator. So, A, how was there water filling that? And uh, B, did you notice the wall was recovered of mold and rot? Yes. Yeah. So Silent Hill 1 is barbed wire, uh, blood and rust. Silent Hill 2 is mold, rot and decay. Rust. <laughs> and a bit of rust, yes. Just like centrally, you know? Gross. Gross. And then three. Is Silent Hill 1 again. more shit. Yeah. <laughs> for reasons. Yeah. For reasons. Look how tiny this door is. Or how big James is. Oh. He is taller than Pyramid Head. Actually, he might be pretty tall. Hmm. Well, we're done with the apartment building. Yay! Thankfully. James is wearing three inch heels. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on, hold on. Oh, he's not sexy. Like, 
I do not object to people being in an almost anything, but he is not sexy. James is not sexy. No. He's a he fucked up little meow meow if you want, but he's not sexy. Oh, you were saying? <laughs> I'm trying to think of what he reminds me of. White bread? <laughs> like... Store-bought white bread. You! Oh! It was you, wasn't it? <laughs> You're the one who stepped on my hand. I don't know. Maybe I did. What's a little girl like you doing here, anyway? Huh? Are you blind or something? What's that letter? None of your business. She is like the definition of the anyway. word petulant. How do you know Mary's name? You get me? Like, petulance. Oh, yeah. She's a lot. I mean, ultimately, she is just a kid, but also. But she is a lot, yeah. <laughs> like, you can acknowledge that when kids are being, like, insufferable while still giving them a lot of slack for that because they're still kids. Jackson. Jackson, where? Hey, oh. More like Jackson, where? <laughs> right said that. Yeah. Jackson who? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shut up. Shut up. No. Oh. Mary, are you here? Mary? Have you seen my wife? About five foot four? Blonde hair? She died. Five foot four, blonde hair, 37 years old? Dead? Oh, yes, have you seen her? It's like, uh, what was that last part? Five foot four? Five, five foot four, six feet under? Christ. <laughs> oh, Mary, you're looking rather not dead this evening. Patrick Chester, son of Edward Centaur. He fought and died for the people, for liberty and for all of our tomorrows. His memory lives on. Headless Centaur, Patrick Chester. Hey, it's the man I was talking about. Man torso. Well, no, you know, a man tar. You know, the body of a man, the legs of a man. Body of a man, legs of a man, abdominals of a horse. Honestly, looks exactly like a man, just fuzzy. <laughs> Has a lot of back problems. Just a man on all fours with another man's torso at the top of it. I love that art. <laughs> I try to stand up, but my spine isn't made to support my upper body weight. I need to find that fan art now. Ah, oh, my eye stings. My eye stings. I'm going the wrong way. This park is confusingly built. Yeah. Something else I've noticed is... And this is kind of sad. Uh, Japan has much better public infrastructure funding for, you know, like public spaces. So when they have a park, you know, it looks like a, a space, like a botanical garden or something. Uh, whereas in America, that feels kind of out of place because when we have a park, it's like, oh, it's a lot we haven't built on yet. Yeah. Congratulations. What do you mean reseeding grass? No. Have some fucking dirt. It's good for you. That's not a good thing, by the way. It's a terrible thing, but, you know, that's how it is. Uh, America. Oh, unless you live near one of the three Mary? richest cities. Mary? No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? 
No, my late wife. I can't believe it. Isn't she dead, though? You could be her. <laughs> Why did you call out? <laughs> your face, your voice, just your hair and clothes are different. My name is Maria. I don't look like a uh, ghost, do I? Well, how would James know? See? I don't know. <laughs> Feel how warm I am? You're really not Mary. I told I'm you. I'm not affected by your I'm tit. Maria. Sorry. I was. Confused. I've inoculated myself. Where are you going? I'm tit proof I'm now. Looking for Mary. Have you seen her? Didn't you say she died? <laughs> oh yeah, three years ago. <laughs> oh, wow. oh yeah. <laughs> she says she was waiting in our special place. It was dated like three and a half years and ago, but that's like here. That's not today. Anyway, Today's a different it. day. Is this your only special place? Well, I've got one other one, but she said I'm not supposed to show that to anyone. Oh, Except that's also her. Vegas. Well, what were we talking about? Too, I guess. The one on the lake? I wonder if it's still there. The Lakeview Hotel? <laughs> yeah, it's still there. So, the hotel was your special place, huh? James, oh, oversharing. <laughs> Don't get so mad. I was just joking. Anyway, it's not that way. It's this way. You're coming with me? You were gonna just leave me? No, but... With all these monsters around? No, I just... Butterfly tattoo on the abdomen. I'm... All alone here. Everyone else is gone. I look like Mary, don't I? You loved her, right? Huh. Or maybe you hated her. Don't be ridiculous. So it's okay? Yeah, fine. Welcome to the escort mission part of the game. Well, I mean, there's a convenient, like, ledge right there. <laughs> Christ, okay. <laughs> it's Silent Hill. What's one more body? Oh, Christ, okay. In memory of the 67 who died of illness and now sleep beneath the lake. Oh, oh, oh. Pardon me, excuse me. I went through this entire game's map in VR chat once, but I don't remember a look of it. Jeez. I mean, there's a butterfly tattoo here. There was a butterfly hole before. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna see some butterflies in this game. Ooh, it's giving me butterflies just thinking about it. Oh, gee, Willikers. I don't know. I just say things. <laughs> <laughs> James, come on. I, I know I literally just said you should push off the ledge, but don't be rude. <laughs> I don't think that would be an efficient use of your ammunition. Well, I've got 127 rounds. <laughs> you also have a knife and a 2 by 4 I have a knife? Oh, I do have a knife. It's not a weapon, though. What? No. You're, don't look at it too much. Like, seriously. Like, I'm not even going to look at it at all. Oh, hey! Good God. It scared the shit out of me. I'm not even going to look at it once. Uh, there's, there's shenanigans. 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 Oh, we going to shenanigans? <laughs> Wait, where am I fucking going again? The, the, the Lakeview Hotel. Mm. Right. Mm. 
Luckily, she can more or less keep up with you. It's just you gotta be careful with your pathing. And Tidu's not wrong. I actually really like that solution. <laughs> you won't. <laughs> oh. I think you could make a screensaver that's just James running through the fog. And yeah. just loop it. Yeah. I'd use it. Hmm? I'd use it. Yeah. I'm trying to find the next save point. Oh, yeah? <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Just, you know, just toss him over the railing. It's okay. See, this is the part of the game that actually is just kind of running from one place to another. I wasn't going to say anything because I'm trying to be polite. But that was a solid, like, two minutes of running. Yeah, okay, here it is. Close to Lakeside Amusement Park and Lakeview Hotel. First aid kit. Wait, is this not where we're supposed to go? And I'm pretty sure you got more than one. I don't think that was your first. God damn it. I think we're actually supposed to explore a little. Fuck, where the fuck am I supposed to go next? Do you need to pull it up? What? Do you need me to pull anything up or? I, I'm, I'm guessing it's somewhere in town. Yes. I went to the boats, but the, James had no comment on the fact that he couldn't get into the place to launch the boats. Can you stop? <laughs> they just keep throwing people at you. Oh yeah, they have um, fully playable Doom. They got a couple survival horror games in VR chat. Things didn't like they, that. Ow. Didn't didn't they have a like a full like NES Zelda recreation, but in Doom? I don't doubt it. I think I read that like just recently. They did the first few levels. Pete's Bolarama. Oh, calm down. We got a lot more running to do. I'll wait here. I hate bowling. I didn't come here to play, you know. Hurry back, okay? Brilliant. Oh yeah, I'll wait out here where the monsters are just because I don't like the thought of bowling. We don't talk about the monsters. It's dangerous in Silent Hill. That's all you need to know. Literally. What, is this, what does this bossing say? Exactly. You know, funny thing though, um, only in the first game do they briefly mention it. Trying to talk about Silent Hill mm. and what's going on there so as being weird Robbery, is murder? actively prevented. Nah, nothing like that. <laughs> huh, you're just a gutless fatso. What'd you have to say that for? I thought you said the cops were after you. No, I just ran because I was scared. I don't know what the cops are doing. But you get multiple pizzas. But if you did something bad, why don't you just say you're sorry? I want that pizza. Well, mm. I guess I run away a lot too. It's no good. They wouldn't listen. Nobody will ever forgive me. I mean, the way he was going to town on that pizza, it must be really good. Mm -hmm. Did you find the lady you're looking for? What's her name? Mary? Give me a save point, you fucks. Give me a save point. Give me that red post-it note. <laughs> K 
give me that save. <laughs> <laughs> the sussy. Give me that sussy. <laughs> save us, Eddie. <laughs> oh, um, you're James. We met in the apartment building. Yeah, I remember, but. Uh... Are you alone here, Eddie? Um, no. That's a massive bowling ball. Just some Eddie Hi. ASMR. Wait, oh. come back! Eddie, let's go after her. Huh? Laura? But why? Laura, is that her name? That's what she said. <laughs> This town is full of monsters. How can you sit there and eat pizza? She said she was fine by herself. She said a fatso like me would just slow her down. Forget you. How can you sit there and eat pizza? <laughs> well, just so watch hard. me. <laughs> Give me. Uh, can I? Can can I get two slices for the road? Man. Where is that safe pussy? Unfortunately, with how high of quality his mic is, as well as all of these mouth noise ASMR sounds, I have a strong feeling he's going to eat at least 50 bullets before he goes down. <laughs> okay, here we go. Where is the safe? And this was the way I came in, and... I forgot how fucking long they make you wait for a save point in between the apartment building and the next part. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's egregious. Did a little girl run out of here? Yeah, she was too fast for me. Aren't you gonna go after her? How could you just stand there and eat pizza? <laughs> God, this game, this game. The fog looks so good, though. Yeah, it, it's like it, it looks like somebody's blowing smoke in my face the entire time. Exactly. That's the good stuff. How could you sit there and eat pizza? Heads with two by four. That'll learn them. <laughs> huh? I swear to God, that would make this like a 10 out of 10 game after everything he's already put us through is just to beat him over the head with a 2x4. Mm. Also, you know, T Dude, now that you think, now I think about it, some like. Where are you going? What the fuck? This isn't the way that little girl went. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll go back there again. <laughs> Uh, if you're just like sitting at a desk and like extremely, oh, I can barely finish the sentence. Uh, <laughs> you know, tall, dummy mommy type, long cigarette, blows in your face, stares at you derisively. <laughs> do you get me? I mean, I do get you. Uh, yeah. Just because she knows it pisses you off. Yeah. Do you get me? I get you. Dido gets me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she definitely gets me. Uh, this is um. She went through the tangent. Excuse me. You had me a dummy, mommy. Is there any other way? Yeah, there is. Who builds buildings right like this? There. James, don't be an asshole. <laughs> it's no good. It's locked. It's locked. You have a gun! I mean, honestly, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> 
the ricochet is very likely to injure you, if not make the lock impossible to open. So use basic math. <laughs> well, I mean, you could just do that. She had a key to the building. Oh, I thought she lockpicked it. And it's like, I mean, that, that would honestly be my first thing. But if I also had a gun. So we are in a building called Heaven's Night. Want to give me a guess as to what Heaven's Night is? What kind of business is it? No idea. Heaven, uh, Heaven's Night is a strip club. Yes. Wait, no. Seriously? Yes. Oh. See, I was going to, like, move into a joke about Hell's Day and all that, but... Hell's Day is also a strip club. God damn it. Have a good one, Crane. Later. See ya. It is a grocery store. Kills. Hey, she got kind of a tummy. I like that. Yeah, I can yeah. appreciate that. I put I that up on my wall. That. Yeah. Grocery store. Not a grocery store, though. I appreciate the enthusiasm. Well, I mean, you can at least get milk. Just a regular stage. There's nothing strange about it. Why are you not giving me a save point yet? It's pretty bad, right? <laughs> I mean, it's only bad if you, like, crash right now. You can die to some of the monsters in the streets. And you have to repeat the last part of the apartment building and all of this. Well, that'd be kind of cringe. It would be kind of cringe. Wait, where does she go? She's oh, staying right. in the strip club. She did the thing she does. Don't ask how that works. I don't know. It's because she's a ghost. Ooh. She's a ghost. Sometimes the fog is so, like, thick, like pea soup in this game that it's hard to tell you what you're looking at, though. Like, the first game, it had a lot less of that. Um... It didn't look quite as good, but this sometimes it trades legibility for aesthetic. Yeah. Oh, guess what that building is? Drugs. Uh, a pharmaceutical. One of the four fucking hospitals in this town. Wait, they have four hospitals? Well, technically, How they, are people getting? technically they have uh, two asylums and two hospitals. Dude, if you have two asylums in one town, does that mean that they could, like, get team jerseys? <laughs> the softball <laughs> games are wild! <laughs> Honestly, that'd be low-key kind of amazing. Thank God. No! Couldn't see the save point. There we go. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hit the, the shutdown button on my genuine uh, PlayStation, Sony PlayStation 2 entertainment system. Uh, yeah. Here we go. And it's Ooh. shut down. So genuine. Yes. So much genuine. Ah, okay. <laughs> Boing. I want to... Th <laughs> what? <laughs> Not hey. a damn thing. I, I don't know. Like, it's just... You, mm. It is satisfactory, yes. I get you. 
Ah, why? Thank you. Look, sometimes you derive satisfaction from the very act. The byproducts and the act of movement, if you understand me. Oh, believe me, I understand you. When I run across the room, I can 100% understand the satisfaction. Yeah. That's why I'm getting one of those breastplates. <laughs> anyway, um, I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get a raid. You what? Yeah, I'm gonna get in a... At some point, I'm getting one of those uh, H cup breastplates. Uh, Jesus, I know what I'm about. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Uh, it's been wonderful to hang out with you and start this very first leg of the Silent Hill to journey. Uh, I enjoy playing these games with friends and with you. I would actually look forward to having these two back again if they're available again. Um, yeah. Other either way.